Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Alex Thomas here back with another video for you guys. I'm here with another Blu-ray hunting video for you guys. I'm about to go out and go to some stores. I got some actually some special guests coming with me on this Blu-ray hunt. I hope you guys are ready for this. If you guys enjoy more Blu-ray content like this, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. More Blu-ray hunt videos, more Blu-ray update videos, more reviews will be coming in the near future. Hope you guys are ready for that. I'm trying to hit 3K subscribers by the new year. Hope you guys can help me out with that. We're almost there. Please help me out and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. It helps out the YouTube algorithm so the video can get out there and so people can see my channel. Um, enough rambling. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, you guys, made it to our first destination, and that is Dollar Tree. Let's go ahead and see if I can get lucky and see if there's some physical media in here. Haven't been in this Dollar Tree in a really long time. Let's go see what they have in store for us. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, let's head into Dollar Tree and see what they got for us today. All right, you guys, just got a Dollar Tree. Dead end, another dead end with another Dollar Tree. Um, I think there's a Goodwill over in this area where I'm at, so I'm trying to figure out where it's at. Probably gonna hit the Goodwill next. So let's get it, let's go. All right, you guys, we're at our next destination. Actually, I was driving down the street, and there's actually another Dollar Tree right here. So we're gonna go ahead and Dollar Tree, see if we can get lucky in here because the last destination had nothing. So let's go in here and see what they got. All right, let's head into our second Dollar Tree, see what they got. All right, you guys, just made the Goodwill. Let's see what they got in here for us. Heading into the Goodwill. Let's see what they got for us physical media wise. You guys just made it to the physical media section. Look at this. Oh, I'm actually to watch the hell out of this movie. Wow. The Hey Arnold movie. Wow. We got a lot of videotapes, you guys. A lot of videotapes. One Blu-ray though. Ah oh, man. All right, you guys, just got a Goodwill. Another dead end, they didn't have that many Blu-rays. They had a lot of DVDs and a lot of videotapes, but barely any Blu-rays. So um, we're gonna head to our next destination, that is The Exchange. So let's get, let's go. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. These guys is who I'm chilling with today, doing Blu-ray hunting. So yeah, let's do it. Let's get it, let's go into The Exchange. Let's get, let's go.
Josh, yeah. Just got out of the exchange. Yes, Picked up some pickups. I was about to head to Big Lots because we know they got movies in there. So uh, I'll show you guys what I picked up in the new video like I always do. So I'm going to head to Big Lots. Let's, let's, get, let's go. This is all everything they got. The problem is I have most of this stuff though. I right, got Shark Tail. Don't need that. Oh, hey look. Hey look. Over, Over the edge. edge for five bucks. I think I'm about to get it. <laughs> yes, I do. I have it. <laughs> yeah, you should definitely buy it. It's a good movie. Um, what's his name? Is Jason Bateman? Yeah, he surprised me. And he surprised me. That ain't bad for three dollars. You, you like the last airbender? No, don't. Oh, my lord. No, no. I was just kidding. I know it's shitty. John Hanson. Wasting money hates a lot. It's a movie about me and Megan. Just got out of Big Lots. I picked up some. Josh, did you get anything? No, I was going to get the gift for uh, three bucks. Oh, you didn't? I'm not getting it. Nah, nah. It's too far. I'll give you one dollar. It's too far for what? I'll give you one dollar to pitch in for it. Really? Say he's gonna give you a dollar to pitch in for the gift. Get the gift, it's really good. I go recommend back in it. and get the gift. All right, because of the one dollar, I'm gonna go do it. We're gonna get the gift. Yep. I picked up some things. I'm gonna show you guys, obviously, at the end of the video, what I picked up. Ron said, what'd you get? I got white cheddar cheese balls and two sprites. He just bought some stuff to eat. <laughs> That's what he got. He no, no movie. He's not into movies, though, so it's okay. Yeah, but, um, you got a couple of vinyls. Yeah, you got some video. vinyls from the exchange, yeah. right? I got one Blu-ray at, at the exchange, nothing in here, because, you know, so my next next we got there's a target right down the street i mean if you guys want to go there we can go there so yeah, yeah. let's go ahead and hit target whenever josh get out for buying the gift right. <laughs> just made it to target let's get it let's get it some of the releases they got i actually found oh they got a shout select release i found this at dollar tree for a dollar but not this version though but this is a shout select release uh -huh. Yeah, I bought the steelbook for that too. Got both of them. Still got the pretty in pink steelbook. They want it here for sixteen fifty nine. That's too much for that. You can get it cheaper at Best Buy. Mm, got the Ferris Bueller Day Off steelbook still. I think they still want too much for it as well. Mm, anything else in here? We got Batman Long Halloween. Nobody. The Unholy. I didn't see this the last time I was there. I don't know if I'm going to get that or not. Mm -hmm. Old Disney section. That's all they got. Just Marvel, Star Wars, and new releases. That's it. Nothing else. That's it. So messed up. Yeah. I'm happy I bought this when I bought it because now it's $20.99. I found it for $10. Alright, y'all, we just oh, got out just of Target. Picture? I can do I can do one soon. Oh, but right. uh, went to Target, picked up one thing. So yeah, so we're gonna head to Best Buy and then we're gonna get something to eat and that way we can cook the video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just so made tired. it to Best That's Buy so with the that guys. Awesome? Yeah. Let's go ahead and head to Best Buy and see what they got for us. Let's do it. Got a new release section. They got the King Kong steelbook for 22. See, look, see, they got the Ferris Bueller Day Off. We can get it here for 14.99. It's cheaper here than Target. They got this cheaper here too. It was $22.99 at uh, Target. It's here for $19.99. That's how much I oh, paid. Oh, let's check the Ferris Bueller's. Yeah, you see? You're right. I told you. Holy Gosh, cow. Oh, man. I, I still haven't pulled the trigger on this yet. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know. I don't know, man. Today might be the day. I bought this, though. I did pick that up, though. That's nice. That's all that. no, There's another section. Let's check the other side. That was one piece section. Still got the saw steel look for $18.99. And I actually can see this in person. I've never seen this in person. At least the Hobbit one. It got here for $119. I can't believe I have it in stores. Wow. I didn't pick this up. 
Look, look at how many of these they have. Oh my lord. They, they just need to drop this to 1999. That's how they're gonna sell. Seriously. They, they do they that's how they're gonna do. They all oh, it's only just one row and two standees. That's it. Just two standees. That's it. Literally. It's crazy. Yeah. Used to be a lot better. So they got this here for $12.99, right? But that big loss they had a two-pack with this and face off for five dollars. What you gonna get? I think I'm gonna get the Deadpool 2 for this too. Dude, nice. Move? I would definitely get it. I have that. Hell yeah, dude. How much is it? 30 bucks. Oh yeah. That's about that's about how much it should be. Have you seen the father yet, Alex? No. It's a good one. I was talking to this, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I heard it's a lot. Right. I mean, I've seen Alex a lot, actually. Mm. It's a really good movie. It's like a one-time watch, but it doesn't use the credit it got for sure. Yeah. All right, you guys, we just got out of Record Den. I've never been here before, actually. As many times I've been to that Best Buy over there, I've never been here before. Yeah, I back bought some stuff because they had a deal. I don't know if you guys can see it on the window, but it's buy two, get three free. So we definitely took advantage of that deal. Josh, what did you get, man? I know you grabbed some stuff. Yes, I grabbed some stuff because buy two, get three free. Come on. First thing up here is uh, winning Rome. I don't know anything about it, but... Uh, it looks like a cheesy movie, and I just love throwing these type of movies on, especially at night. Right. So, get that. This is a uh, recommendation from Labo over here. Oh, side right. by side, what did you say it was about? It's about, uh, I mean, I haven't seen it, but it's about like um, direct, a whole bunch of directors talking about like digital versus film. Oh, okay. And Richard Linklater is in it, but his name isn't on the cover for some freaking reason. Yeah, I love Linklater. I love all these guys. David Lynch, George Lucas, David Fincher, James Cameron. I, I might have to get that. Yeah, That's something I need to get. sealed, brand new. Yeah, I think I need to get that. If yeah, I 100%. If I didn't have it, I would have smashed it up. Yeah. And then we got a uh, Bold Durham. I haven't seen it. I know it's a Criterion. It was free. I'm going to watch it. If I like it, I'm going to buy the Criterion. Did you see any other copies of it in there? No, it was the only one. It's factory sealed too, isn't it? Uh, no, no. Okay, I thought it was factory. This too. is this horrible movie. I know it's going to be terrible. <laughs> Me and Leva did a movie night on the first one. This is a sequel. Has all the same cast, and uh, you probably throw it away after I watch it. <laughs> I know it's going to be bad. But... Or just give it to me. You already own it, don't you? Yeah, but not with a slipcover. Just uh, give him the slipcover then. Can I have a slipcover? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Last one up, Paul Pax. Uh, classic. I love this movie. It's so funny. Uh, I grew up watching it a ton. I figured when it came out. Don't you hate that when you're getting filmed and you can't find it? Mm -hmm. like, That'd get cut out. I don't know. It, oh, 2011, yeah. So I was like 10, 11 when it came out. I watched it so many times. But uh, yeah, I mean, I only paid 10 bucks for five movies. You know, why not? Bronson just got some um, some vinyls. He's been just getting vinyls all day. Yeah, dude. Green Day vinyls. Layla, what did you get? I got um, several movies. Let's go through these real quick. So a lot of them I haven't even seen because like it's <laughs> yeah he went out. Cool. But you're buying DVDs with someone else, right? Yeah, yeah, a couple. So like this one's for Mason Night School. Yep. Uh, Walk in the Woods. It was pretty good. You're welcome. Uh, Pink Panther Two. Well, I really movie. enjoy the first one with Steve Martin. Never seen the second one, so I thought why not? Night of Cut. Yeah, yeah. Night of Cups, uh, directed by Terrence Malick. It's Terrence Malick. I like him and hate him at the same time. Uh, late bloomers, don't know anything about it. It's sealed. It's always going for like 15 bucks. Why not get it for free? Anatomy, Sean Phillips talked about it a lot uh, in his videos. DVD, you know, not out on Blu ray. Interview, uh, it's, it's in, Oh, it's in there. <laughs> I was worried for a second. But uh, yeah, this, um, I haven't seen it, but I heard it's a one location movie. Um, I actually have this, but I got it for my friend David, which if, if you guys, um, if you guys know about my channel, like, He's been in a lot of my videos no recently. You're right, no one knows about my channel. <laughs> but, uh, he's been in a lot of my videos recently. He's got like 6,000 movies. But um, he said like, oh, if you see this anywhere, get it. So I saw it and I got it for him for free. But then we got uh, two classics. We yes, got sir. Jimmy, ne Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. Yes, sir. I grew up with Jimmy Neutron. Yes, I have this for like, like 15 years. Yes, sir. So I, still have that. I still have that DVD. Yeah, yeah. I never got rid of it because I don't think it has a Blu-ray. Yeah, no, there isn't. I looked it up. Yeah, it's no Blu-ray for it. It should, it should, that should have a Blu-ray. 100%. Exactly. And you got the Wild Thornberries? Is that the Wild Thornberries movie? Yeah, I never really liked this, but I did like the crossover with... Um, Rugrats. Rugrats. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, I don't know. I thought for free, why not revisit my childhood a little bit.
but I did watch that when I was younger, but we got uh, Intermedio, whatever, starring Edward Furlong, which I'm trying to get as, you know, as many Edward Furlong movies as I can. So when I get to interview him again, you know, then like I have more knowledge because I've seen much many more of his movies. Right. At the time, I'd only seen like three of them, so I, can, I don't know, I felt like a piece of crap, but that's all I got. Yeah, we all got pickups. Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys all my pickups at the end of the video. We're about to go get some food and we're gonna end the video on that one. So let's go ahead and get something to eat. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. All right, you guys, now I'm about to show you guys everything that I picked up today. I did a lot today. I picked up a lot. We're gonna start with the exchange pickups. I picked up um, the Hitman's Bodyguard on 4K for eight bucks. I picked up Cop Car because uh, Leba um, suggested it. And I also picked up Michael Jackson's number ones. Obviously, you guys know I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan. Then we're going to go straight to the Big Lots pickup. I picked up Over the Hedge. I heard it's a good animated feature. And then I picked up Hansel and Gretel. I even forgot I, even forgot I picked this up. Picked that up as well. And then the last one I picked up was The Mummy. I actually got this for like $125. I don't know if you guys can see that. It was actually $125 at Big Lots. And then I did pick up some at Target. And I grab it. I got a lot of bags here. Yeah, I can't grab it. I also picked up Justice League uh, Dark Apocalypse War. It was only $10. And then at uh, we just went to Record Den. I've never been there before. But they had a deal for buy two, get three free. So I went ham and bought five titles. Got Bad Words. I picked up this action movie pack with Dirty Harry and uh, Magnum Force. I picked up this movie with Brian Cranston called The Affiliator. I picked up the Entourage movie. And then the last pick that I picked up there was Step Up Revolution to complete the Step Up collection now. So now I have every single Step Up movie. And that's all the pickups I picked up today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like. Please subscribe for more. Trying to hit 3K by the end of the year. I hope you guys can help me out with that. Shout out to uh, Josh Cinecreep. Shout out to Axe Label. Shout out to everybody who's in the video. Their links will be in the description below. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. And I'm on this one, you guys. Peace.